Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another Wooden Railway review video, and this time I am going to be doing a review on a set, and that is the figured 8 track pack. So, honestly I wasn't entirely sure if I was ever going to get any of the, any of the Wooden Railway sets, because honestly I don't really pick up sets as much anymore. Not really much of a fan of the modern days of Thomas and Friends sets as much as I grew up with the old ones, but but honestly, by looking at the set, I'm like, you know what, this set isn't too bad in my opinion. Like, why not pick it up at Barnes and Noble? And also, I'm not entirely sure if the, I'm going to keep this in my collection. Um, this is actually something. This is actually for my uh, nephew I had in my mind. Because I know my nephew loves Thomas and he loves wooden railway trains. He loves to push them. So I would th I think that this set is so perfect for him. And yeah, I'm not going to like like go over his house and then give it to him. Because I know I know for a fact that he has so many stuff in, my, in his room. So I figured, you know, keep this in my room. And then whenever he comes over, he could play this... He could play the set in my room and all that good stuff, you know? So, honestly, I definitely think that I'm going to keep this for my collection. And then, you know, whenever my nephew comes over, he can play with the set. So, I think I, I, think I made the right choice that I picked up this set. And uh, I figured I should tell you all that this set was $49.99. $50 for the set. Like... I'm just, every time I look at the price, I'm just like, wow, that's a little expensive, but you know what, I, I have plenty of good money, so, might as well. So, before I, uh, show you all this set, um, I'm gonna show you all this box. I think this is a really nice box. A really nice looking box. And, uh, honestly, a lot of people say that this is bland, but honestly, I don't think it's too bad. I like this box. I really like this, uh, CGI Thomas here, the, he looks like it was a drawing it looks like a draw. Look like someone uh, draw a uh, CGI Thomas, and it looks really nice. A really nice set here, and uh, the back. Um, it just shows you what includes this box, which is the track piece, Thomas, and all that good stuff. And and uh, this is what the inside looked like. I think it's really nice. I like how it's organized. So that way if kids want to put put the sets away, they could put it back in the box. And uh, I really like I really liked how this box really looks because honestly, I am I am so definitely keeping this box in case like uh, like after I'm done reviewing this, I'm definitely going to put some of the tracks, the sets, Thomas back into this box. So I'm really keeping this box. So Alright, so, let's start off with Thomas. So, now this. Sorry if the camera's blurry, but... This is a perfect face. Now, I really like this face a lot. Now, um, when I got that uh, Thomas... The first time I got Thomas, the other Thomas... He got that uh, face from Journey Beyond Sodor. And honestly, I really wish that this face was on the other Thomas's face. Yeah, like I said before in the other Thomas review, I'm not a fan of this face. I don't like that face that he did in the uh, Journey Beyond Sodor DVD cover. I just don't think it's for me, honestly, and I really wish they didn't do that. But this face is perfect. And uh, we look at the sides here, and at first when I saw the set, he I thought for a minute, <laughs> I don't know what came to my head, but it looked I thought it looked like a like a squirrel. On, on the side, but when I look closer, I'm like, oh, wait, no, that's a beaver. And over here, I'm trying to figure out as well, um, it appears to be a salamander, if I say it right, or a lizard, I don't know. I'm, I hope I'm right on that. And on the other side, there's a, it's got gravel on the side, and you got, like, three salamanders on the sides, too. Uh, nothing at the top or the back. Just bland, just bland, so overall not bad. Um, overall he looks really nice. He looks really nice. 
Um, honestly, I'm not too much fan of this cargo car here. Uh, this car is, wow. This car is made of plastic this time. Um, not too much a fan of this cargo car, to be honest. Kind of wish they've given, like, a, a troublesome truck car. But, <clears throat> that will do. So here's this little cargo piece. I see is, a uh, this is a pipes and uh, another pipes. Uh, very interesting. Very nice. Yeah, like I said, I'm not too much fan of this cargo car. Yeah, you get to, yeah, this car is definitely made of plastic. So, um, like I said, I don't hate this car or anything, but I'm just not a fan of this type of cars. Um, what else does there need to talk about? Um, uh, this little set here. Um, here's this, uh, cargo drop-off area. And, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this, this thing is meant to represent, but, uh, it's something, but, and uh, I'm not entirely sure why Mattel, uh, put a cloth on the set. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just, I would have preferred to have, prefer if the roof was showing to be honest, but, it's a nice, it's nice, I like the logo, reminds me of the Blue Mountain Quarry logo, but, kinda, but, this color reminds me, yeah, this color actually reminds me of Blue Mountain Quarry, but, kind of a odd choice to put a cloth there, and, uh, this grass thing here, yeah, it's definitely made of plastic, so what you do is, is that you just basically take Thomas around the track. He just stops at this car, at this cargo drop off, and you just put a set, put this cargo here. And and for this little thing, this piece right here, um, it's just gravel, and at the back it's just wood, and then a little cute beaver there. So basically, you know, you just take Thomas around and you just... Oh, come on. You know, that cloth is so distracting and hard to see. I'm, I would probably take it off. And yeah, if you want to take it off, you're going to have to, like, take some screws off. So, that's it. That's all you have to do. You just take Thomas around the tracks. And then you just stop at this cargo station. And you just... That's it. That's basically all you have to do. Simple and easy. Very simple, easy set. And uh, one last thing. This little crossing. This crossing, in my opinion, is very nice here. And, of course, it's made of plastic, but honestly, I don't mind it. And uh, I can see why Mattel did this. Because if they did this, made this into a wood, I think it would have been a lot more expensive. But... So I think it's a right choice. They did plastic. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I like the details on it, too. It's the bricks. I really like that. And overall, very nice. And also, they brought back the wooden railway tracks. Ah, oh, the childhood. Oh. Does anyone miss the wood? Does anyone miss the tracks? Because I do. And also, one last thing. This, this, they concluded the, um... The wood tracks, um, I assume that Mattel did that is because in case of kids have the wood tracks out there and if they, it, and if they do have these, uh, sets and tracks like that, and if kids bought, bought this wooden railway stuff, and of course this would be included, but honestly, who play, who plays wood now these days when you got, when you got the brand new comeback of wooden railway? Nobody, nobody's buying wood anymore. I'm not buying wood anymore. So, who cares about those tracks? So, overall, Thomas runs very smoothly around the tracks. Like I said, it's just a simple, easy set. Um, this set didn't took long for me to set it up. This took me about two minutes. And, uh, yeah. All, so, it's simple and easy. You just take Thomas around the tracks... You know, you could do kids or fans could do whatever they want. 
Okay, that doesn't fit. So, so you just take Thomas around the tracks. And... That's it. That's really it, really. It's just a simple, easy set. Just a simple, easy set for uh, everyone to enjoy. So, overall, what do I think of this set? Um... I liked it. It's a very nice, neat set, and I definitely think that kids out there are going to enjoy the set. And I think my nephew is definitely going to enjoy the set since he loves Wooden Railway. Um, <clears throat> also, this set reminds me of the old days from the 1990s when uh, Learning Curve took over Wooden Railway. Uh, Learning Curve also does big sets, but also they do little sets. So, this set reminds me of the old days. Um, honestly, it's not a big set, but honestly, it's something that, um, honestly, my nephew and kids out there are definitely going to enjoy. I think everyone will definitely enjoy the set, in my opinion. Overall, to me, not a bad set. I think it's a really nice start of your collection for everyone to play. So, overall... Thank you all so much for watching. I'm really glad I picked up this set. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.